said she feels like a creeper. <laughs> So, I say the passive prosthesis is basically a, a, a device that kind of can help you, you know, hold something together, you can grip, grip it together, you're not going to be able to hold anything with this much. I mean, if you put your finger in here, it's basically about one or two pound pinch force, it's not much. Um, but this is just a glove, now they don't even make this glove anymore, this is a company that used to make these gloves, they're made of silicone, but um, they're generally made of vinyl or silicone, which is, this is another type vinyl that goes over top of it. There's an inner glove that goes inside this one too. But I'm just showing you this first because this is maybe the lightest one. Okay. Um, this, even though this is a little heavier, this is a long socket, but this is probably your lighter prosthesis that you're going to have on you that you wouldn't be carrying around as much weight. So sometimes amputees, you know, will get this type of prosthesis and this is your heavier prosthesis. This is the myoelectric prosthesis. So you pick this up, you're going to feel probably another pound and a half to two pounds heavier than this. Um, you know, so what happens is they'll have one prosthesis and they say it's too heavy or I'll have no, the other one and say they want to try the myoelectric. And so, you know, to where we start is something, you know, we have to try to decide today, um, depending on what type. And the insurance supposedly is 100% covered. Um, Except for, um, I heard that DV. DVR. DVR. Would, would do the skin, skin like, over it. More realistic. Yes, it is. I don't. It's. I wouldn't say it's similar to this, but it's the touch of it is similar to this. Um, and I did have one. I wanted to bring it, but it. Um, it was just a glove. I have a patient who has a couple fingers missing, and this one fell. Off my curtain that we work with. I don't know if Dennis has anyone he works with, but uh, he comes down from Connecticut. There is a process that when they put the glove on, it's probably about three to four months before they can make the glove. That's how long it takes. Um, what they actually do is they take, um, they take a mold of your sound hand, okay? Uh, they pour silicone all over your hand. Basically, they, they pull it off in about five minutes, it hardens, they slide it off, and they have the impression of the sound hand. And then they just mimic the other side and just duplicate it, okay? And so then it shows everything, your knuckles and the veins, everything is similar. And then what they do is they come back in and they paint the inner glove. There's a glove that they paint on the inside that matches your hand. Mm -hmm. And they can go all the way up the arm. Um, I know it is costly. I would say it's probably in the twenty-five to $30,000 range just for the glove itself, not including yeah, the prosthesis. Yes, quite expensive. Um, I, know he can, I know he has done it for passive prosthesis, he's told me. Um, honestly, I don't know, you know, for body power, which this is next, I want to, I'm kind of jumping around here a little bit because you're looking at the gloves, so, but, um, you know, what sometimes he'll do is he'll get the glove and he'll bring it up to the elbow and then he'll do a second part that goes on the upper part of the, of the, the humor section. So, but let me take this from me here. So, so going from the passive prosthesis, okay, then this is the body power, and then this is fairly light. Okay, but it has a harness system that's attached to it. So this, in reference to the myoelectric, is a lot lighter. It's functional. This is functional. So the elbow bends, the help opens and closes. There could be a hand attached both on both prostheses. Um, so, you know, and how it works is that you know, each one has its own way of, of functioning. All right, and so let me just show you. So inside here, there's a little mechanism that locks and unlocks the elbow here, okay? So if, if you were to get a passive prosthesis, again, don't mind this upper. This is a very long limb. This is what happened with this patient here. Uh, but if you wanted to lock this out, there's a little locking mechanism, and it just stays locked in this position wherever you want it. Um, but again, we go back to being the lighter prosthesis. Sometimes this is what patients want. If they have a myoelectric prosthesis, they want to go to something lighter after. Um, how this suspends this one here is that they roll this liner up onto their limb. Okay, it's made of silicone. It has a little pin at the end. What happens? There's a little mechanism inside here. What happens is you'll just slide your arm into it. It will it, you know, basically engage into this mechanism here, and then it locks. And then this little button here disengages it here. So. Um, so. 
So basically, this won't come out unless you press the button here, all right? And then you'll be out of the prosthesis and you have.